Recent Legion used to say, redemption can only be found in the most unusual places. This place certainly qualifies. Good, good. Eric, set. Ready and action! Okay. The village is two kilometers in that direction. said to me. I know you're good, yeah, that's good, that part, because I wrecked that one's fine. The second one, when I was trying to see that, I'm got sure caught. We'll so cut, yeah, so cut that good. I'm sure. And then blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think it's okay as long as we got yes. one rack, it's okay. And then the second one, yeah. okay. pop. Okay, yeah. And I have to use the tech too. Yeah, yeah. But this is called the moment where you sort of unplug and go into a place of nothingness. Shut your brain off. And you just sort of like mush it. You make it mush. Then when they say ready, that's when you snap back. See, my brain is being. I'm resting my brain right now. Hey Mike, I'm yeah. about to do my scene. Can oh, you about to do your scene? Yeah. Can I do mind if I have a moment to to, to, to mush your brain? Exactly. Sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mush your brain. Hey, yeah. mush, mush your brain. Yeah. yeah. There you go, man. This is Yosan. Yosan is mushing his brain now before he starts his scene. <laughs> Thank you. I play Gaspar, who is a, a guy who's being extradited from, um, from extradited to Canada, and he's coming on the plane. And and you know, they, no one knows what he did per se. It's said that he did something that he killed someone. That's that's what he's been accused of. Uh, the character is basically being brought in a stand trial for something he did many years ago. So he's a very mysterious character. And it, essentially, he's supposed to be brought to stand trial. And him being dangerous, he sits at the back of the plane away from the other passengers and handcuffs on, but very discreet. He's not wearing anything. He's not in um, prison garb or anything like that. And there's a person assigned to him to make sure he stays uh, stays out of the way. And of course, when the plane crashes, then they have a problem on their hands because the security guy died that, in the plane crash and my hand, guy you know? survived so now they have yeah? something to deal with okay. yeah oh because I, I, will, I will see you that's what you're yeah. saying yes okay. yeah. thank you Mike yeah. okay. so uh, pretend the van's in the back up three van lens I gotta say the stuff when I'm down and you hold me it's so beautiful it's like you're been a lot stronger than me but you feel that it's hitting you but you're not you know yeah yeah I'm the super emotional the concern, one, you're, like, like, my concern when we're looking at it going, it's like, it's like you down. That's what I was really concerned about, but because I'm on top of you, it yeah. makes more sense. But it's like, you know, hold you know I see people, like, multiple guys won't go down. It's like, how many guys does it take to hold a guy down? But well, because I'm on top of you, it's like the Absolutely. leverage, it feels more believable. Yeah. And it also keeps us focused on that. Yes. And, and yeah, it's yeah. just, it's, it's contained, you know. And it, Ready and action! Thank 
I, I, I thought it was a great opportunity to play, uh, to get a chance to work with um, Jerry. I, I think, you know, he's been around doing these kind of films or films of this nature for a while. He's always had a, you know, a, a good knack for comedy, uh, uh, romance and things of that nature. But this action genre for him is really a sweet spot. And I think having him play the captain and playing a guy I don't think he's played before, someone who's in, in a sense um, outmatched in the film, um, in over his head, someone who didn't expect this to happen. You know, most of his characters are meeting danger head on and, and very uh, prepared for it. In this case, he wasn't. Uh, and, and, and so that's where my character comes in, um, a reluctant guy who does have a certain arsenal, set of, a certain set of skills, as they say, but reluctant to use them because he's more selfish. He's trying to, you know, look out for himself. And so this is where the two things sort of work out in terms of, his motivation, um, Jerry's motivation, his character to help this, his crew and his cabin of passengers, and my sort of reluctant nature, but finding connection with his character and his passion for wanting to save these people, and and, and that sort of bond sort of happens quickly, and and it sort of develops throughout the film. Action. I play Katie, uh, Katie and my friend Bree, and we're uh, we're on traveling together on our way home from a vacation, and um, yeah, then we get on this plane, which we wish we wouldn't have. You want to make me terrified? Yeah, <laughs> so I played the head flight attendant, Bonnie, who oversees the, all the passengers, the safety of the passengers, and when the time comes where we have to crash land, I don't think that's something she's ever had to do before. So it was... Uh, it was fun to play Bonnie because she was definitely like the mother or the mother hen of, of everyone on the film. So I play Brie and she's on a trip with her best friend Katie. And I think this is the first trip they really take together and the first time they're not together with their family. And I think they really represent the innocence and they really remind Torrance of his family and of his daughter. And I think that's one of the characters that really motivate him to get us all home and get us safe because we're more afraid and we're more terrified and we have never been confronted with a fear like that. And I think seeing our kind of raw emotions and the, what we're going through really gets him to try to see the humanity in all of it and really try to get home also to his family. No! no. Oh. Wait, hold on. I gotta, we gotta do it. I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> okay, it's a little, we haven't practiced in a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's a little rough. Wait, let's try that again. I believe it at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. That's where it gets back. When you guys <laughs> do this part, can we reverse this, please? Back, back to one, back to one. That way. <laughs> 
No, I thought we'd reload. Okay. 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 All right, camera reloads. I play Samuel Daly, who is the co-pilot to Captain Torrance, who's played by Gerard Butler. Daly and Torrance are essentially one of the last flights of Trailblazer 119 in a New Year's crew. But throughout the journey, they unexpectedly encounter a very, very bad, very, very turbulent thunderstorm and essentially comes across Yellow Island and everything. You know, Murphy's Law starts playing out. Everything that can go wrong goes wrong. But Torrance's character being, being the hero that, that, he, that he really is underneath it all, being the, the, the quote-unquote um, uh, madman that he really is underneath this exterior of this, of this, of this you know, sort of casual run-of-the-mill pilot, he was determined to, to, to save his passengers because it was like an obligation. He's so committed. He's so dedicated. Every day he shows up, and even though it was a really tough shoot, he never really complained at all. He was always prepared, knew his text, knew exactly with what he was going into it, knew everyone's names, was very sweet to everyone on set and really tried to have a conversation with all of us. And I think his work ethic really inspired all of us to really show up every day and give it our best. I'll just tell the radio, I smell it and go, done, melt it, burn it. And then the transponder. The theater is better than a TV. You know, it's a, it's a real experience for the sound, for the, you know, it's large. And for the experience, I think, uh, we don't have, like, and I think it's like, it's a, it, I will not say it's a prototype, this movie, but I cannot remember to show a movie like that. Usually, I will say a plain movie because it's not a plain movie, but the, I will say the, the most important part is the, the crash, the storm. But on, on, on our movie, this is the beginning. You know? So when, for example, you, you, we saw the, the, all the storm stuff, all, all the storm uh, scenes, it's like handing, you know, but no. You will have one more hour after that, and you will see what's happened for characters, because the most important, what I said, it's characters. Um, so yes, I start the movie. I will say when the other finish the movie. Here we go. Turn the plane upside down. Ridiculous, but it's like it's important. Yeah, push and push and then you look at this and you go, push it, like a push it.
so, yeah, yeah. So like, so like, how do you get yourself to that place? Yeah. Like using your imagination.